right, so everyone that has been asking for an update on that beefsteak begonia propagation video that I made, that well, was back in April 2020, um, here is this gorgeous plant now. So in the video, I had demonstrated a couple of things, um, how to propagate these by in water and how to propagate by leaf cuttings and I had transferred a couple that were already in progress into this pot and this is one of them now and where does it even it's really hard to tell like where it starts so right hey, hey. right about here is going to be one of them that I put in and it's branching it's going crazy she's just gorgeous and this is the growth from the established plant and if you remember the, the original plant was it was two cutting two leaves one two like stem and leaf cuttings that my friend Kathy sent me from North Carolina and it took a while to get them you know established and I did that in water and here we are now this is just absolutely a gorgeous and glorious plant. Um, I decided to keep it indoors and it's done fine. It's in this, it's on this funny little chair my husband bought. He thought it was full size, <laughs> but it turns out it's like, it's a, maybe about three feet tall. So I decided to put a plant on it and it's actually perfect. And she lives at the top of the stairs. Well, not the top, but at the landing and this is that's the window that's where she gets her light yes and it's just a gorgeous fantastic magnificent plant it's in a fast draining soil and i definitely do not overwater her because i tend to forget about her up here <laughs> when, when i go running around with a watering can for the indoor plants um, I always have to come back and check on her because most of them are downstairs. So um, that's what we're doing. That's, that's the state of this begonia right now. She's absolutely gorgeous. There's gorgeous red leaves, very shiny. It goes all the way down here. Look at this. Look at all that. I'm just kind of letting her do her thing for now. I really don't know what we're going to do. Um, later, and you guys, oh my gosh, this is, oh, it's like living with a teenager, I just found a grape under here, it looks, uh, we haven't had the grapes for very long, so it hasn't been there too long, <laughs> what in the heck, um, yes, gorgeous, grape red, begonia, um, I do have, I started one of them on the video, I started them as a, I started a leaf cutting as one of the demonstrations, and I have that, outside in its own little pot. Um, it's just probably gonna plan on giving it away because I've got plenty right here, obviously. And again, these are rhizomatous. There's two types of begonias. There's cane begonia and then there's rhizomatous that produce new growth along the rhizomes. And that's why you're able to chop them and propagate them by leaf and as a stem cutting. So you can't do that with the cane variety. You, well, you, you can, produce, you can uh, propagate by stem cutting with the cane varieties, but you can't chop up the leaves and get new plants from them like you can these. So I'll show you what that other one's looking like now. And please remember that we have been through uh, some really crazy times here in Houston with this freeze and we had a record heat this summer so far is like the hottest June on record. So, you know, either it's too hot or it's too cold. Today is actually lovely. It's the nicest day of the summer so far, to be quite honest with you. So I will show you what that one looks like. The uh, leaf cutting update. I'm kind of looking around for more grapes and stuff. But so far, it looks like we're all good. This is our leaf cutting gal. Two years later, and probably would have grown a lot more if you know we hadn't had a freeze and I hadn't had just 
crazy back and forth temperatures and move just all kinds of stuff but just hanging in there looks great and probably needs to be repotted soon but again I kind of feel like I have enough of these so just keep her in there for now <laughs> and then I have these little sad guys I bought they weren't sad when I bought them they're sad because it's just been really hot and I had them in a really bad location where the sun was just blasting them so hopefully they recover I'm sure they will and then the cane begonia that I was speaking of this is a, a polka dot like angel wing and uh, absolutely gorgeous but again you cannot supposedly you're not able to chop these up the leaves and propagate them because they are not rhizomatous but you can do stem cuttings I have done it before propagate those in water and she's got gorgeous flowers on her. It's been blooming forever. They look so pretty. So yeah, lovely, lovely stuff. Bought this trellis not knowing what I was gonna do with it and finally found a good use for it. It was like $2, I had to, right? I can't believe I almost forgot to show you guys this one. Uh, this is the begonia ready and it's massive and it does look a lot like the beefsteak begonia with the uh, green fronts and gorgeous red backs but I got this from a local nursery it's so big I tried to keep it inside it just got too big so I just stuck it outside over here for now look at that it's gorgeous you're so beautiful and check out do you see how thick those stems are so this is like a super beefed up beef steak, basically. Absolutely amazing. Just keeps going. The more you try and look down in there, the more you see. What babies, babies. All right, guys, thanks for watching my begonia update video. With bonus begonias. <laughs> All right, um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on notifications so I can leave requests for video ideas in the community page, YouTube community page. Um, and you can leave comments to ask questions and give me ideas. It just kind of helps us stay in touch in between videos. So, all right, y'all, have a good one. <laughs>